Hey guys, and welcome back to the Spruce and Linen channel. I'm Janelle, and today I'm teaching you how to do pick and pick. This is a really simple stitch, but gives a really cool effect that adds texture and pattern to your weaving. So let's get started. Pick and pick is a really easy stitch because it's just plain weave, but it's just alternating colors and it creates such a cool effect. It's definitely easier if you have two tapestry needles because you're switching back and forth so much. So keep that in mind if you're gonna use this technique, it might be good to um, grab another tapestry needle before you start. All right, so I have an odd amount of warp strings, but that honestly doesn't really matter for this. Um, but I'm just gonna start doing plain weave. So I'm gonna do one row of the black and then one row of the white. So then when you're ready to start your next row, you're going to kind of link these ends. It'll, it'll be more obvious when I get to this side again. But basically it's just so that um, the threads are always connected going up. This stitch again is one of those ones I think looks best with a chunky yarn if you're going to go for that sort of slightly diamondy effect. Um, if you want more of a stripe effect, you could do a thinner yarn. So here, this string is laying here. I'm going to take this one over top. And you'll see how this kind of just See how it kind of just links and this one is stopping that one from skipping a thread. All right, I'm gonna do a few more rows so that you can really see how it looks. Again, we're gonna bring this, once we get to here, we're gonna bring this one over top of the black. Now that I've done a few more rows, you can sort of see that little bit of a diamond pattern that's coming through with that just back and forth, one color over the other, linked on the edges. I didn't pull mine probably quite as tight as I should, but that kind of shows you what it should look like on the sides. Now, you can't beat them super close together if you want the diamond pattern. However, if you do want more of a vertical straight pattern, you could just really squish these down and you see how now it looks more like vertical stripes. So there's kind of two different strategies in there. And I think especially if you were using a thinner yarn, not a chunky yarn, you could get a pretty clean looking vertical stripe. So there's two different looks with the same stitch. All right guys, so that is Pick and Pick, which is essentially just an alternating color plain weave. It's very simple, very easy to use, but it definitely adds some pattern and texture, like I said before, and just some interest to your weavings. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Tori does a pretty good job, but it doesn't hurt. Oh, that's not, there we go. The little focus view? Yep. Sweet. 
It looks great as usual. Thank you, I love you. Love you. One, two, three, 